We're at Quick Draw Animation Society and I'm going to show you the basics of using stop motion station. We've got a camera set up on a camera stand aimed at a piece of construction paper where we're going to do our animating. To shoot a movie, we open stop motion station. Stop motion station works by saving the frames of a movie as JPEG images in a folder and when the, you load the program it sets up a default folder path. We'll take that default and just start shooting our movie by clicking on the shoot movie button. We're now in shoot mode in stop motion station and the computer monitor is showing the image from the camera full screen. Stop motion station is controlled completely from the computer keyboard. When we want to shoot a frame to add it to our movie we press one of the two enter keys and when we want to play the movie back we press the space bar. We'll take our object out of the picture and start by shooting a, uh, a pause where we just see the green background about six frames. And if we go over to Windows Explorer where I'm looking at the folder that we're using, we can see there are those six JPEG images in the folder and ready to be shown. But of course there's no motion on there yet. To bring in, to start moving things, we bring in the object that we want to animate or cut out or whatever it is that we want. Take a picture, move it a bit, take a picture, and continue doing this until we've got some frames that we would like to play back as a movie. And this can be any number of frames. I see by the indicator that we've got a thir 13 frames in total right now. Let's take it up a couple more. So I'm moving it just a little bit at a time and to play the movie back we press the spacebar. So there's the movie that we just made. To stop playback and start shooting again, press the space bar or the escape key and we're ready to continue our animation. When I move my object a little bit further each time it'll be moving faster and I'm starting to give it a rotation as well. We're at the top of the frame. Making bigger changes to the picture. Over to the side. And if we want to see how that's looking, play forward by pressing the space bar. It picks up speed because I made the changes larger. And what might be interesting there is to keep it in about the same place. I'll move it a little bit less. There we go. And thinking of the way an object behaves when it falls, it picks up speed. is completely out of the frame. 
shoot a few more frames, play it back. So we have an object moving with a speed variation and a pause in the middle. Escape or the spacebar to stop playback and we're ready to continue shooting. Well, we've made a little movie and now we want to make another one. We can open the setup dialog, that first dialog box that we saw earlier, by pressing function key F2 or the right mouse button. We'll open up the dialog and we could set up a new folder to shoot our JPEG images into. Alternatively, the control key and the letter N when you're working in either shoot mode or view mode will create a new folder for you to work in that is arranged so that it can be easily viewed together with the other folders that you may be shooting. Let's start this one with our objects actually already in the picture. What I'm doing right now is just fooling around a little bit to make a second movie. And I'm just watching the image on the screen to make sure that my hands are out of the picture when I actually take a frame. And a few frames on the end. All right, let's play that movie back. And yes, my hand was in the shot at one point, but we won't worry about that for now. Now, that's all well and good, but one of the reasons that I use the folder structures that I do is to be able to shoot shots in a movie and then put them together. The spacebar controls playback. Press control and the spacebar to playback all of the shots that are in a movie and you can see there we're playing back the first shot that we did followed by the second shot that we did. Now the keyboard of course does a lot more than this in stop motion station. We've only touched the very very beginning of it but my help file which you get by pressing function key F1 tells you all of the functions of the keyboard by clicking onto one of the keys with the mouse, you can find out all of the options for that key.